I'm going to show you how to make a British Indian restaurant style madras dish. First of all, we have to understand where the name madras came from. Chetanai, which is the name given to the city today and was renamed in 1969. During the 16th and 17th century British Raj, the Brits called anything that came out of that region a madras. So there is no single authentic British Indian restaurant dish. I'm Russell Phipps and this is my kitchen, Manor with Spice. In a British Indian restaurant, the dish is a spicy recipe made with tomatoes. Let's get on with the dish. A tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of ghee. Dried chilies, an inch of chopped ginger, two garlic cloves. Just give this a quick stir. You, you don't want the garlic and the ginger to brown. So as soon as you see it start changing colour, I add some coarsely chopped onion. Now you want about one to two large onions. Reduce your heat to medium and saute these until they're transparent. Just starting to go brown and transparent. Turn that off. I'll transfer these to a plate to allow it to cool down and then liquidise with half of the tomatoes. Same pan. Reduce the heat down to low, a tablespoon and a half of ghee. A teaspoon of cumin seed. As soon as it starts sizzling, add two to three green chilies, two finely chopped garlic cloves. And just fry this until the rawness of the garlic disperse. You do not want the garlic to go brown. We now add half the tomatoes. Increase the heat to medium. Fry this until virtually all the moisture has come out of the tomatoes and you can see the ghee separating from the tomatoes. The oils are now starting to separate. Turn the heat right down. Add a good tablespoon of fenugreek leaves and you want to just crush them between your fingers as you put them in. And that just releases all the flavour. We add the ground spices, of which I've got coriander, cumin, turmeric and cashmere chilli powder. And you just want to stir this for about one to two minutes. You don't want it to burn, you just want to get the rawness of the spices out. One kilogram of cubed chicken. Keeping it on low for the minute, thoroughly coat with all the spices. I increase the heat to high and I'm going to seal the meat. Once we've sealed the meat, we then cover and we cook the chicken until it's about three quarters cooked through. Now this will vary depending on the size of the cubes you're using or whether you're using the whole chicken uh, broken down. But on average, this will probably take about 10 to 15 minutes. The oil has started to separate. I'm now going to add the liquidized ingredients, which was the onion, garlic, ginger with the other tomatoes. Mix all this in, keeping it on low. Bring it up to simmering point and carry on cooking until the meat is fully cooked and you have quite a thick gravy or masala. And this has reduced and is now a nice thick gravy. The chicken is thoroughly cooked and just falls apart. And there we have a chicken madras. I will sprinkle this with some coriander and serve it on a bed of rice or on its own with some form of Indian flatbread. Thank you for watching. I'll put a couple of videos up here from my channel and I'll see you on my next video.